Okay, here we are back inside Makely School. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I hope you find the video useful and helpful. Uh, I'm not going to ask and beg for subscribers today. Uh, you already know I really would appreciate it. So let's just get going. This is going to be a very short vi uh, video. Uh, I had a viewer ask why uh, I rebuilt uh, uh, a curve in a uh, model I did just uh, the other day and I wanted to explain a little bit about it. So uh, first I have three uh, curves out here and all I did was take a line and draw it out. So they're all degree one. So if I uh, type in what it's just uh, a degree one curve, right? Uh, and uh, I want to show you why we rebuild curves and, and why it's kind of good to uh, sometimes go in and re rebuild curves. Uh, so this one, uh, right now, since it's a 1, it only has two points on it, one on the end there and one on the end there. And if I, if I turn on my points, well, if I select the curve and then turn on the points, uh, you can see that it, it only has one point. If I move it, it's, it's just a straight line, right? Okay, everybody knows that probably. Okay, so we're going to take this curve and we're going to rebuild it. We're going to rebuild it, leaving it as a 1, but we're going to put 4 points on it. Okay, just so we have more points. And it, if you take a 1 and you move it, it's still got that real sharp uh, edge, right? We're going to take this one, we're going to rebuild it. Uh, as you can see, it's a degree 1 with 2 points. We're going to rebuild it as a degree 2 and hit OK with four points. So if we turn on points on this one, it's a degree two, four points. And you can see they're a little bit more spaced out. Uh, and we're going to take this one and rebuild as a, a degree three with four points. So they all have four points on them. Uh, and let's turn on points on that one. Uh, they all have four points on them. Uh, no big deal, right? Uh, and these are more balanced than these here, and these are all balanced, okay? But if we take this curve, like I said earlier, uh, it just comes up very sharp, right? But if we take one of these curves here and we drag it up, uh, it everybody knows it's going to come up and then affect down into here, right? And then if we take this one and drag it up, uh, three I think it was, yeah, three. You can see the difference. Uh, the second, the next point, the next point. Uh, if you look here, well, this one has no effect on the point. It's locked in place, right? Uh, so you're just going to get a straight curve right there. This one, uh, the second point here, <coughs> it, it's it's affecting the the bend is affecting it, but not as drastically as it is with the degree three curve, right? And th it, it goes on up four or five, it's same thing. It, it, it'll just uh, affect the points next to it more. Uh, it'll, like this is heavy point here and this is a lighter point. So it's not trying to drag that line down further. So a lot of times you wanna uh, go up in degree uh, to get a much, it'll affect much uh, other points so you get a much smoother curve. Uh, see this one's kind of sharp here and this one's a lot more smoother. So that's that's kind of why you uh, rebuild curves. If you're wanting to try and keep a nice uh, flowy surface uh, where it will, you know, if you had five, six, seven points on there and you do a degree five, well, it's going to affect those other points a little bit more drastically than if you have a lower degree curve. As you can tell, one has nothing. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, and two, you know, it has a little effect. Three has a little bit more. Four will have a little bit more. Five will have a little bit more. Uh, so that's kind of why you go in there and, uh, you know, select your degree, uh, change your degree every once in a while because you want a little bit more flow with your curve. And that's that's really it. Uh, now, surfaces, we'll get into that another day uh, when you uh, match and blend them together or match and, yeah, uh, match and blend them together. Uh, they will, uh, they affect the points differently. So, that, you know, the smoothness of the surface will change. Uh, so that's kind of really all I wanted to say. So I hope that kind of answered your question, why we, uh, why I rebuilt that curve. I just wanted it a little bit nicer, smoother, where it was going to affect those other three or two points uh, below it when I was dragging it around. So I had a much, you know, this one's a lot harder to manipulate if I have a real 
uh, crazy surface or something this one would be much easier alright so uh, thanks for watching if you found the video useful please uh, like subscribe and uh, leave me a comment I appreciate it thanks very much